It is a game-changing moment for India's aerospace future. French aerospace giant Safran has confirmed that its new maintenance, repair, and overhaul facility in India will be the only centre outside France capable of servicing and overhauling the advanced M88 engines that power Rafale fighter jets. This development places India in an elite global category and transforms it into a critical hub for Rafale engine support, not just for its own air force but for the entire region. The M88 engine is a high-performance, twin-shaft turbofan designed specifically for the Rafale. It delivers exceptional thrust, fuel efficiency, and reliability, making it one of the most advanced fighter jet engines in service today. Until now, any major overhaul or deep maintenance of this engine required transportation to France, involving long turnaround time, complex logistics, and heavy costs. The new Safran-operated facility in India will eliminate this dependency, enabling complete life-cycle support within the country, according to senior Safran officials, this MRO centre represents a historic milestone for India's aviation ecosystem. The facility will handle comprehensive engine inspection, component repair, testing, life extension upgrades, and performance optimization. This means damaged or worn-out engines can be restored to operational standards much faster, ensuring higher mission availability for the Indian Air Force's Rafale fleet. Direct operation and control by Safran ensures that global quality standards, OEM-certified processes, and advanced diagnostic systems are maintained. This will significantly reduce aircraft downtime, accelerate overhaul cycles, and cut logistics expenditure associated with transporting engines overseas. In operational terms, this translates into quicker turnaround, improved squadron readiness, and enhanced combat capability for India. The strategic importance goes beyond India's borders. Safran has clearly stated that the facility will serve international Rafale operators as well. Countries such as the UAE and Indonesia, which have confirmed Rafale orders, are expected to use India as their primary engine support destination. This makes India a regional MRO powerhouse for Asia, the Middle East, and the Indo-Pacific region. Other Rafale operators including Qatar, Egypt, Greece, and Croatia also stand to benefit. With multiple air forces relying on a single overseas destination for engine overhaul, decentralization through India reduces global supply chain risks and improves operational continuity. This also improves crisis preparedness. As regional forces will no longer need to depend solely on European servicing timelines, the facility also strengthens India's case for future Rafale acquisitions. The Indian Air Force and Indian Navy are both expected to place additional orders in coming years. For the Navy in particular, Rafale M is being considered for aircraft carrier operations. Having localized engine support gives a massive edge in carrier-based aviation, where maintenance speed directly impacts operational dominance. This MRO center is just one part of Safran's wider expansion in India. The company already operates manufacturing plants, research and development centers, and aviation support units across Hyderabad, Bengaluru, and other key aerospace hubs. These facilities contribute to component manufacturing, engine parts production, and high-end engineering services, strengthening India's domestic capability base. Beyond military benefits, the economic and industrial impact is equally significant. The MRO hub will generate skilled employment, promote technology transfer, enhance local vendor ecosystems, and boost India's role in the global aerospace supply chain. It aligns directly with the Make in India and Artmanurba Bharat vision by shifting high-value defence services to Indian soil. Safran has also indicated that if India expands its Rafale fleet further, the scale of this facility will grow accordingly. This could include advanced testing infrastructure, next-generation engine support capabilities, and deeper industrial integration, reinforcing India's position as a preferred aerospace services destination. In the larger strategic picture, this development marks a powerful transformation. India is no longer just a buyer of high-end fighter jets. It is now evolving into a regional aviation maintenance leader and a core pillar in the global Rafale ecosystem. The M88 MRO facility represents a shift in power, influence, and technological autonomy, positioning India at the heart of future air combat sustainment.